We're going to get all you guys to go up front. It has been 19 months since Nick Beaton marched in the streets demanding a public inquiry. Since then, he's tried to prepare with his legal team, but says that's been difficult. We're just kept in the dark and we're just fed lip service to make us feel better, thinking we're going to go away, and we're not. Beaton's pregnant wife, Kristen, was among those shot and killed when gunman Gabriel Wortman went on a rampage masquerading as a police officer. Even as public hearings begin, families are concerned. They don't know much about what the process will entail, including who will be called as witnesses. First and foremost, I want to hear from Lisa Banfield. Uh, her story or her version of the story is catalyst to what happened. Um, she knew him more than anybody. In April 2020, the RCMP said Banfield, the gunman's common law partner, was a victim of domestic violence. They later charged her with providing him the ammunition. She has pleaded not guilty. When the family raises concerns, I listen very carefully and quite frankly, when they raise concerns, I share those concerns. The commission's investigations director swung back at the premier. Frankly, we are surprised and disappointed. The Mass Casualty Commission is an independent inquiry and must remain free from interference or external direction. The inquiry's mandate is broad, examining everything from the police response to the role of intimate partner violence. The chair responded to the family's criticism in his opening remarks. Some people are concerned about the commission's independence, believing that we may be susceptible to covering up for either the RCMP or for government. Let me assure you, nothing could be further from the truth. Beaton says he just wants to be able to tell his son he fought to, to keep Canadians to safer. Because that night when I'm talking to that boy and he looks at me and he says, where's mommy? And I got to explain that to him. I want to prevent a, a dad, a husband, a father, son, wife, whatever, to have to do that. The commission's final report is expected in November. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.